Okay. Uh, today we will finish lung cancer, inshallah, and start prostate cancer. Okay. Last time we talked about management of advanced disease, uh, non small cell lung cancer. We said that uh, tumor histology is important because the treatment depends whether we have squamous disease or non squamous disease. And we talked about the targeted therapy like EGFR inhibitors, ALK rearrangement inhibitors, and we talked about um, indigenous inhibitors like bevacizumab. We on the first line, second line treatments, and on the maintenance that sometimes we can consider in certain situations. ف generally speaking, in what they are going to stages one, two, or three A disease. Usually, as we said, we give a, a, a platinum doublet. The stage one is always not chemotherapy, okay? But يعني, in general, let's say in stage two disease, three A disease, patients take four to six cycles of a specific or a selected platinum doublet, and we don't have routinely any maintenance treatment. For the patient, it's off therapy, but it becomes under uh, monitoring, يعني, in surveillance, okay? بالمرضى اللي بيجوا بالستيج 4 ديزيز او 3B advanced disease uh, sometimes we might consider maintenance therapy okay sometimes not واذا ما صار maintenance therapy كمان هدول المرضى بيكونوا under surveillance okay فال ال ال treatment approach بيعتمد اذا المريض بيقدر ياخذ maintenance او لا بيعتمد على histology and so on هلا In other type of lung cancer, which is the small cell lung cancer, in general, we said this is more aggressive lung cancer disease. And uh, relapses, recurrence is very common. Even survival time is much shorter if we compare it with the non-small cell lung cancer. The staging with small cell is different. We don't routinely adopt the TNM staging. The staging on Vietnam is Where do we see the the, um, the tumor mass, and does it involve a single lung or both lungs? Okay. So, basically, we divide small cell lung cancer into limited disease and extensive disease. Limited disease means that the tumor is confined into a one mass in one of the of the lungs, but not extensively. Uh, 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 يعني, uh, locate or موجود in both lungs. We call it limited disease. هلا more diffuse tumors or tumors that found in both lungs had a become extensive disease. Okay. هلا unfortunately most patients with a small cell lung cancer at presentation they do have extensive disease. يعني نحكي إنه حوالي سبعين بالمائة من المرضى اللي عندهم small cell lung cell lung cancer بيكونوا already in extensive disease. Okay, which means really a very aggressive form. Okay, the survival chances are really low. Uh, فهي واحدة من المشاكل إنه عادة المريض بيجي بي really advanced or bad or aggressive presentation in the small cell lung cancer. هلا حكينا إنه بال small cell lung cancer usually surgery is not a, a cornerstone option. يعني in in many cases the tumors are not resectable or operable. فبالتالي we rely mostly on radiotherapy. Okay. Definitely with chemotherapy. Yani chemotherapy is always there. Like in surgery is not always doable or rarely doable. Okay. But with Tali, we consider uh, radiotherapy, especially in cases of the limited disease. Yani is a marid and limited small cell lung cancer. Is a fetal lab amal mute, please. Is a limited disease, small cell lung cancer. Usually we do chemo radiotherapy, okay? So radiation is um, recommended. To um, to surgery, okay? And it is combined with chemotherapy. Hala, with small cell lung cancer, we have two approved platinum doublets. اللي هم ال EP تبصيد with cisplatin and IP irene تكان with uh, cisplatin. هلا according to NCCN guidelines 
between these two, EP is the standard. يعني إذا إجا مريض limited disease أو حتى extensive small cell lung cancer, the chemotherapy of choice is EP. Etoposide or platinol or etoposides as platinum. Okay. Hala el IP could be an alternative to EP. Okay. Yani el IP uh, treatment is not usually the first option. However, is an EP not available, our patient did not tolerate etoposide, we can move or we can try IP. Okay. So bitali hon bil limited disease, ehna bnati radiation plus chemotherapy to the patient. If the patient is, um, is stabilized, we recommend or we offer something we call it percutaneous cranial irradiation. Irradiation to the, to the brain, okay? Why we recommend that in the patient who respond to therapy, who, who, who have a stable disease after chemoradiotherapy? Because a brain involvement is very common in recurrent or relapsed disease. فبالتالي إحنا لما بنعطي هدول المرضى brain irradiation, we, we improve the chances to survive and we decrease the, the chances to relapse with brain involvement لأنه إذا بصير relapse disease with CNS involvement, brain involvement, it's usually really aggressive and something really bad. فبالتالي المرضى على limited disease who respond to chemo radiotherapy, they are usually recommended uh, to have or they are offered uh, the PCI percutaneous cranial radiation. Hala is al marid is extensive disease, and most patients fall in this group. Okay. Again, we go to chemotherapy. EP is preferred. Okay. Yani be had at stage, yani concurrent radiotherapy is not usually recommended. Yani mumkin ktir no, we just rely on systemic chemotherapy. We don't recommend uh, um, radiotherapy, فهوه not routine, okay? You might consider it for very selected cases, unlike limited disease in which radiation is recommended, okay, with chemotherapy. But with extensive disease, it's mostly chemotherapy, EP regimen, okay, first line. Uh, routinely, uh, يعني radiotherapy, عم نحكي هون عن يعني radiation of chest, lung, is not routinely recommended, okay? The small cell lung cancer, يعني, as, as a percentage of lung cancers, it's not big. يعني, 10-15% of patients with lung cancer, they have small cell lung cancer, fortunately, because this is really aggressive. Okay, لكن هدول المرضى اللي عندهم small cell lung cancer, okay, relapses, recurrence is common, okay. فبالتالي, how should we manage a, a recurrent or relapsed case uh, based on time to relapse? يعني أمتى بيرجع المريض صاير معه relapse? This is really important. هلا كل ما كان time to relapse shorter, okay. It means that the disease did not respond from the very beginning to treatment. Natable refractory. Okay. The cut point or the value that we decide about it here time, yani free time, disease free time, or time between uh, uh, treatment induction and relapse can at less than less than 90 days or three months. So if the time to relapse uh, was less than three months, احنا بنعتبر انه this is a case, يعني we, we consider it refractory, not responding, وبالتالي there is no need to repeat chemotherapy again. هدول المرضى عادة هم supportive care أو إذا في ongoing clinical trials we can recommend, okay? فبهدول المرضى we don't go to second line chemotherapy because they are very unlikely to respond. In very short relapses, very early, early relapses. Okay. هلا في مرضى تانيين relapse time ممكن يكون prolonged. Okay, أطول. يعني مثلاً we've seen cases in 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 clinic in hospital. مرضى بيجوا مثلاً بعد سبع شهور ثمان شهور relapses. بصراحة معظم المرضى يعني at least those I know about they do have relapses. Okay, يعني 
انا ما شفت مريض ما بعرف maybe they do definitely exist لكن غالبية المرضى they, they come with a relapse disease اللي عنده small cell lung cancer it's the time that might differ يعني أكثر مريض شفته طول بالرلابس تايم كان يمكن around one year and they he came again he relapsed ف رلابس is really common in small cell lung cancer فإذا كان الرلابس تايم above three months رجع المريض with the disease more than three months okay we here we can try second line chemotherapy okay we can try it the only approved FDA approved drug to treat second line uh, um, relapsed small cell lung cancer هو topotican okay El topotican belongs to what family adabiaraf topotican شو class تبعو Same class with what? Yes, Abdul Rahman. Yes. Yes, very good. Okay. But who belongs to the same family of Irene or Takan for whom topo isomerase inhibitors? Okay. So the only approved in the second line treatment for relapsed cases in small cell lung cancer, fictir adwe, chemotherapy drugs. Like in the approved one, the only approved, FDA approved, who top of the camp, can be given parenterally or orally, okay, and if you treat with oral treatment, you, you get the same outcomes as IV, okay, so IV may have advantage be a second line management of small cell lung cancer, recurrent or relapsed disease, okay, but we can try we don't expect the response to be great, but we can try. Okay, for the we have a second line treatment for small cell lung cancer with prolonged relapses. Okay, um, it's not mentioned in your book, but there are many ongoing trials about trying uh, also immune checkpoint inhibitors in small cell lung cancer. I think some some drugs are already approved. Okay. Like in, it's not mentioned in your book. So, uh, uh, yani expected you know, SAR expansion a little bit to how to treat uh, uh, relapsed small cell lung cancer. Like in, in your book, just you need to know that topotican or FDA approved drug. Like prolonged relapses, what does that mean? Is a usual married relapsed within uh, uh, 30 days or two months? We do not try topotican. Okay, and at that time interval, second line chemotherapy is not recommended. Okay. Well, again, if we if we treat okay patients, we usually reassess. And if we on average, we give the platinum doublet four to six cycles. Okay. Other than re reassessment, we always do reassessment. Okay. But other than after the first two cycles of the platinum doublet or three cycles, any midway there even, we reassess the patient. So as long as we have uh, um, stable disease or we have some, some um, regression or we have good response, we continue the treatment. Is a can feel a good response, maybe this indicates failure and so we have to discontinue and go to another uh, uh, treatment. So we talked about the options available for the first line and the second line treatments in the management of uh, advanced disease or in the management of the small cell lung cancer. Okay? So reassessment is required. And we always do it. Okay? We have a disease cancer in general. Sometimes it's the time when to reassess. Okay? In the end, we can uh, uh, decide that we can um, assess there is a response or not. The time interval, this is maybe variable, but we always need to reassess meanwhile. I have to know how the patient is responding after a few cycles to decide if we have to, to complete, go with it, or switch to, to another therapy. Had assessment for efficacy or uh, treatment uh, efficacy effect. Fee command all the time, fee assessment, lead side effects. Okay, and we always monitor adverse effects. Um, yani, lama hadruha al mustashwa wa tadarabu, daima marda al oncology, yani, abel, uh, any new cycle, bin amal al marid full checkup. Okay, we do CBC, we do, um, 
cardiac function if necessary, liver function, kidney, electrolytes. يعني uh, completely نعمل complete checkup to make sure that the patient can safely go to the next cycle. Okay. Um, إذا في أي issues that will يعني uh, necessitate to delay or postpone a cycle or toxicity cannot be tolerated that will necessitate that we drop drugs from protocols or switch protocols, we have always to consider it. فبالتالي قبل كل administration in, in the new cycle, we have to completely check up the patient. I'm in the full check up. Okay. Is a fee a muscular? We either hold the, the cycle. Oh, is a fee big issues with the treatment, severe toxicities. We can sometimes stop or switch. Okay. But had a routine when we treat patients with cancer disease. Right. Hey, Carlos, no lung cancer. Okay. So we will move now. To the final topic in solid cancers. Sorry, what's this? What's this? Okay, one minute. <coughs> okay, Shaifin slide that slipper state. Yes, yes, doctor. Okay, Tamo. Time. Uh, Right. Fa, fa, this is this is the last solid cancer in in the in the in the syllabus. Okay, the solid cancers they are a lot. يعني إحنا ما عنا وقت to cover all of them. Solid cancers can happen to the GI, يعني gastric carcinoma, esophageal. Can happen to the uterus, endometrial carcinoma, ovarian carcinoma, sarcoma, cancer of the bone. Okay, يعني we have many um, يعني solid cancers. Brain cancers really common in, in pediatrics. But yeah, solid cancers can happen almost in 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 every body organ with 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 exceptions. Yeah, you can masalan cardiac cancers are very, very, very rare. Okay. Um the prostate cancer. Okay. Fa yani in almost all body organs, liver, hepatocellular carcinoma, it happens, okay. Bone cancer, it happens. Connective tissue disease, it happens. So, yani, solid cancer is a big topic. Okay, we have not everything. We have most common, most important. We have the skin cancer. That's another problem, and so on. Okay, but we are going to talk about prostate cancer, which is the last solid cancer in the in the um, in the course. So, the prostate cancer is is a male disease. We are going to talk about Breast cancer is a is a, a woman disease. Okay, and now it's it's highly predominant in the women. Well, prostate cancer is definitely a male uh, disease, a man disease. Okay, a prostate gland normally, يعني شو normal physiology, biology. Why prostate gland is important for the male uh, system? شو بتعمل prostate gland? Normal physiology تبع هالشو. Abdul Rahman, yes. Uh, it's it's so that uh, mm -hmm. support the sperm, and mm -hmm. it also um, presses the urethra to help to pass the urine. Yes, good. For example, the prostate gland is really important to the uh, male genitourinary function, right? Hala, it's very important for spermatogenesis. مثل ما حكى زميلكو يعني spermatogenesis normal. I would say uh, production activity. Okay, is really really dependent on on prostate gland. Okay, كمان هي بتيجي just below. يعني إذا إحنا بنطلع على anatomy. Uh, this is the seminal uh, uh, vesicles here, okay, and this is the prostate gland. Tab and here tri lobe, yani fi three lobes. It, it's a gland that's composed of three big lobes. Wtaban fi na above it ala tul biji urinary bladder. This is the bladder, okay. Uh, this is the rectum here, okay. Rahnehki an digital rectal examination. U fi na the 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 um, uh, uh, ureter, okay, that's going through it. Uh, 
فاحنا لما بنحكي about prostate gland هي very important to the male genitourinary function uh, important for sexual uh, activity as well if we remove the prostate gland one very important side effect of prostatectomy if we remove prostate gland one very important side effect شو راح يصير بما انها important to to the genitourinary system بصير عندنا drop in what نادين ممكن يصير بس الاستيراليتي؟ يس وشو كمان بصير عندنا؟ يعني هو احنا بنقول له شو شو السكشوال درايف شو بنقول له؟ decreased lipido did you hear of this word before lipido؟ اوكي فا it is very much expected that if we remove prostate gland because of cancer of the of the gland Okay, uh, and we have to do prostatectomy, for example, or prostatectomy is an option. Then um, drop in sexual drive, lepido, and spermatogenesis impaired, and so on. So it has several complications, especially if we talk of relatively younger patients. Okay, but with that, prostate cancer is uh, usually a cancerous enlargement of the prostate gland because. The, the prostate gland might enlarge in a benign way. Yani, we have a condition, we call it benign prostatic hyperplasia. What is the condition? Have you heard about it? Benign prostatic hyperplasia. What happens here? We see enlargement of the prostate gland. Yes, Nadine? Uh, yes, as a result of the enlargement of the prostate gland, we see urinary symptoms, right? We see urgency, frequency, we see incontinence. And these symptoms, it can also happen if, if the enlargement is because of carcinoma. يعني واحدة من ال من ال 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 issues when we diagnose prostate cancer, if we if we don't do biopsy to confirm if this is a a a carcinous enlargement or not, it might be misdiagnosed as a benign prostatic hyperplasia. Okay, so in the end, the the urinary symptoms, okay, complications will happen whether the enlargement is because of cancer in the prostate gland or just benign. Non-cancerous, the gland is hyperproliferating, but this is not neoplastic. Okay, so benign prostatic hyperplasia means it is not transformed; it's not a cancerous disease. Okay, we treat benign prostatic hyperplasia completely different from the way we we treat with prostate cancer. Okay, but how many things? Involve or associate with enlargement, urinary symptoms, but the, the management is highly variable. Okay, so we are going to talk about prostate cancer. So, when 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 we talk about the anatomy, we talked about it. Okay, um, male patient, حكينا إنها بتيجي the seminal vesicle uh, secretes sperms. Okay, uh, through the the prostate gland and uh, you know, the prostate gland will, will secrete like a vehicle, other secretions requested, needed for spermatogenesis. So, it's very important for the reproductive activity. And uh, if, if enlarged, if enlarged, it starts to cause urinary symptoms because it will start to push up the bladder, the capacity, it starts to, to uh, block or, uh, uh, shut down the, the, the urethra with Tali Basir Marid and Yani urgency. If they go to toilet, they cannot co do complete voiding. Maybe con voiding a complete. Okay, Fa they, they start to have uh, complications, issues. Okay. Fa el, el enlargement is bad, however, it's serious when it is a, a cancerous disease, prostate cancer. Okay. Had a bear of normal size of prostate, you may be adult patient. Average uh, size of the prostate will adult had a bear of come gram, masala. No, 
نو ايديا طيب طيب خلينا نحكي هلا عن الهيستولوجي اوكي هلا البروستيت جلاند it contains normally uh, 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 epithelium cells okay and surrounded by again uh, stromal cells the epithelium in the prostate gland is usually sensitive to the uh, male reproductive hormone which is the androgens yani binlaqi normally bil wada tabii that in the uh, epithelium of the prostate gland androgen receptors are expressed that the growth and development enlargement of the prostate gland is dependent normally on testosterone or on androgens as a part of the male uh, uh, genitourinary system. Okay. فلما بيصير عندنا neoplastic transformation due to any reason يعني رح نحكي في عندنا كتير factors منها مثلا genetic factors منها environmental factors that the normal uh, uh, prostate epithelium transform becomes cancerous neoplastic okay so when they transform to the cancerous neoplastic uh, uh, prostate cancer cells the majority of prostate cancer retain androgen receptor expression they are androgen receptor sensitive they are androgen hormone dependent بمعنى يعني 80% من البروستيت كان Cancers normally they do express androgen receptor and they are sensitive to the to the hormone. They are sensitive to testosterone and dihydrotestosterone. فبالتالي خلينا نقول إنه majority 80% of prostate cancer are androgen dependent or hormone dependent. Okay, what hormone? اللي هو testosterone. Okay. هلا in 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 small amount number of, of cases in you know, maybe 15% of cases uh, 20% the the um the transformed cancer cell okay when when the normal epitheliums transform they they lose androgen receptor expression and so by definition we call these androgen independent tumors their growth is not dependent on on the hormone okay هلا a third scenario in many patients at presentation when they are diagnosed with prostate cancer uh, uh, they they start or they have at the time of diagnosis they have a hormone dependent disease or androgen dependent disease but they can transform into hormone independent or androgen independent disease so this scenario is is, is also common it happens okay فمن البداية it could be hormone independent but this is a small proportion but the most of patients who may hormone dependent however they can transform the disease might become resistant to the hormone or independent on the hormone فبيصير after some time بيصير hormone independent okay now um, um, as I said يعني إحنا the prostate gland في إلها exocrine function it secretes molecules secretes things okay فإحنا في عنا normal function to these uh, epithelial cells okay so they have certain uh, morphology structure hierarchy and function when when these become uh, malignant or cancerous or neoplastic cells we lose their function okay we lose the normal function of these cells and they start to grow out of control they start to proliferate out of control so the gland start to to push okay yani pushing to the uh, surrounding uh, organs okay but uh, it, it it will cause disturbances in the surrounding functions or will cells itself will will acquire abnormal uh, uh, characters or traits they they start to invade and migrate yani instead of of um, uh, being supportive uh, non migratory non invasive normally no they they start not only to grow out of control but also they start to acquire some abnormal phenotype okay or behavior so they they can invade the surrounding tissues they can um, 
in in many cases يعني they can invade to the to the pelvic bone احنا هذا بنعتبره actually a very advanced disease they can invade to the seminal vesicle they can invert to the surrounding tissue فبالتالي they become also abnormal in terms of behavior ف prostate uh, cancer is is an important uh, condition to be treated هلا بشكل عام خلينا نقول انه البروستيت كانسر هو بنعتبره احنا some kind of يعني not very aggressive carcinoma بيعتبروها بالمجمل more more indolent compared to other cancers okay يعني compared to maybe colon cancer compared maybe to breast يعني they are not very highly growing and they are not very aggressive in general okay compared to the other cancers they are more indolent okay لكن within the 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 carcinoma itself يعني المرضى اللي بيجوا with prostate cancer some patients they have very aggressive carcinoma and some patients will have maybe very slowly proliferating carcinoma more, mostly differentiated فرح نحكي يعني ال 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 type of cancer cell is very important the grading تبعها كتير مهم because it impacts it directly impacts the therapy that we can go for okay فبالتالي ال prostate cancers um, once they they are diagnosed we have to consider options whether we can watch the patient wait or we have to proceed directly with treatment with the treatment highly dependent whether we have to start with an androgen dependent cancer or hormone sensitive tumors or androgen or hormone independent uh, uh, cancers okay But if we talk about prostate, we talk a little bit about androgens, which are the main uh, um, uh, sex hormone in the male subject. Normally, I would say like 95% of androgen in circulation uh, comes from the uh, gonads, comes from the, the testicular uh, tissue. Okay. فبالتالي, circulating androgen, the main source who were the, the male gonad or the testicular tissue. Very small percentage comes from adrenal glands or other tissues. Okay, type. If if we say that 80% of of the of the tumors uh, are uh, hormone dependent. Okay, to start with. Uh, do you think if we deprive androgens in circulation, this would be helpful to treat those patients? Yani, in in your opinion, what is the most important model? A modality or a therapeutic consideration if we want to treat androgen dependent prostate tumors. شو أهم شيء إحنا نعمله لهذول المرضى؟ Any idea? Do you recall when we talked about hormone dependent breast cancer? What what was the goal? This is a tumor depends on a particular hormone. What should we do to stop the tumor growth? Yes, Rania. Doctor, androgen receptor inhibitor. Yes, excellent. Yani, شو الالتمت goal يعني? This is one one group of the drugs. Yes, good. Yani, إحنا شو هدفنا? To, to do what? To, de to deprive, to deprive. Yes. And we have to stop, to stop the, 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 this, this signaling, this, this activity by the hormone because the growth is dependent on it. So, when we talk about, about treating androgen-dependent prostate cancer, the main, the most important group هي الهرمونال ثيرابي او الهرمونال تريتمنتس وذ ذا جول از تو بلوك ستوب ذا افكت اوف ذا هرمون تو ستوب ذا جروث اوف ذا كانسر واي بيكوز ذا كانسر از هرمون ديبندنت اوكي فبالتالي وي نو ذات موست اندروجينز كم فروم ذا ذا جونز اور ذا تيستيكولار تيشو وات كود بي وان اوبشن اوف تريتينج بيشنتس هير إذا معظم السيركيليتنج هارمون بيجي من التستيكيلر تشو، what can we do؟ إحنا 
احنا حكينا بال بالبريست كانسر دي ريمبر لما قلنا وي كان دو اوفريكتومي دي ريمبر فور هارم اندبندنت بريست كانسر تو تو كوز ا دروب ان سيركيليتنج استرادايول اند ديبرايف ذا تيومر فروم ذا استروجين سو وات وات كان وي دو هير to induce castration, estrogen levels go very down in circulation. Yes, Sanar? Uh, yes, good. So we can also remove the gonads here, right? We can move the testicular tissue. We can remove the Okay? Removal of the testicular tissue. فبالتالي بالتالي بما انه الهرمون is really important here and most cases 80% okay then blockade of androgens particularly testosterone and dihydrotestosterone is usually the goal of therapy how how we can reach this how we can deprive or decrease the level of androgen in circulation or how can we stop the effect of androgens on the prostate tissue? We have different classes of drugs, okay? Faizan, the goal of hormonal manipulation or treatment, and this is really important, is to reduce the levels of circulating androgens. When we reduce the level of circulating androgens, we have a particular level that we have to hit, then a castrate level, castration, okay? Then we, we can highly stop, okay, tumor growth and actually we can we can induce regression if if the hormone that is used to to maintain growth survival is not available we can induce tumor regression okay for high the model or highly group tier muhammad be a prostate cancer because most cases already have androgen dependent disease type هلا generally prostate cancer is a disease of 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 old age. يعني خلينا نقول most cases we expect to see in 60s, 70s. So it's a disease of the elderly. Definitely advancing in age increase the risk. يعني يعني كل ما العمر زاد the risk of prostate cancer is increased. Okay. ال ال the American statistics, يعني خلينا نقول the U.S. statistics, the prostate هو the most common, but it's not the most lethal, or it's not the most, يعني the the one that causes to the most fatality. Okay, the actually lung is the most lethal. Okay, فهو يعتبر very common carcinoma. وعادة مثل ما حكينا بالelderly. Okay. In prostate cancer, generally speaking, go very unlikely in the in the young patient. Okay, يعني احتمالية تلاقي أنا مريض عنده prostate cancer بعمر الثلاثين ااا العشرين very very unlikely. Okay, فهو من ال cancers اللي مرتبطة كتير بال aging. Okay, فبالتالي aging is a very important risk factor. Ah, family history is very important. يعني مثلا having a father with prostate cancer increase the risk of the son مثلا من الطرف العم او الخال second degree كمان بيزيد الريسك ما في عنا we don't know a single gene that is known to, to correlate with, with the risk يعني مثلا احنا حكينا بالبرست حكينا عن البراكا جينز very يعني well known بالبروستيت ما عندنا specific genes إنه إذا فيه mutation the risk is highly increased ما عندنا so far لكن في عندنا uh, we know that certain genes like p53 retinoblastoma هاي كتير مهمة يعني p53 controls cell cycle retinoblastoma controls cell cycle ال androgen receptor أو ال e-cadherin very important in, in, in prostate ف we have some genes that are known if they are mutated or if we lose the function like p53, for example, it might increase the risk of, of prostate cancer. Hala, fee environmental factors, ahamha, exposure to, to cadmium, okay? Yani cadmium exposure bizzat, you know, associated with increased risk of, of prostate cancer. In lifestyle, kaman, uh, is, is important. In, in, in Western lifestyle, yani, خلينا نقول الهاي فات دايت، هاي سول دايت، obesity، lack of physical activity، they can all contribute 
to the to the risk of um, prostate cancer. بال ethnicities كمان لقيوا إنه في differences يعني مثلاً لقيوا إنه the African Americans or well, Black people the incidence or the risk of prostate cancer is much higher than Asians, for example. ولما uh, يعني they did further investigations لقيوا إنه actually uh, these two are different in 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 five alpha reductase enzyme levels and activity. رح نحكي عنه. Okay. فبالتالي كمان ethnicity طبعا نحكي the U.S. population is important. The benign prostatic hyperplasia, as I said, okay, the benign prostatic hyperplasia itself is not a risk factor. It does not itself increase the risk. بمعنى ال 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 adult أو ال elderly اللي بيجي عنده benign prostatic hyperplasia هذا لا يعني إنه his risk of prostate cancer is increased. Okay, فهي مش risk factor بالمعنى, but it complicates presentation and the treatment. يعني um, it makes the case complicated. Okay, لكن إحنا ما بنقدر نعتبر إنه أي مريض عنده benign enlargement of prostate, it means that patient is at risk for malignancy or carcinoma of the prostate. Okay, هلا ال ال smoking and alcohol consumption. يعني ما لقوا إنها strongly associated with the risk of prostate cancer. Okay? يعني مش من ال leading يعني strong risk factors. Okay? But definitely they are bad. Okay? يعني um, smoking increases oxidative damage, attack on membranes, can million carcinogens, alcohol, same idea. Okay? They might not be directly associated with the risk, but they are definitely bad. Okay, to any kind of carcinoma, not only prostate. Right. The family history, as I said, important. Okay. The patients who have family history, يعني مثلاً average adult male with family history, they are at increased risk and they have to screen earlier. رح نحكي عن screening. Okay. حكينا ما في عنا very specific genes. Okay. واحدة من ال من ال يعني الفاميلي كوزز هو الفاميلي كلاسترينج في كروموسوم 1 بس ما عندنا يعني very solid evidence about association of familial factors with prostate cancer. ال ال male carriers of BRCA mutations can be at increased risk of prostate cancer لكن يعني برضو مثل ما حكينا ال risk هون does not correlate with the BRCA mutations in causing or oh, some predisposing to ovarian and breast cancer in the female subject, okay? So, in general, يعني, يعني ما في عنا, um, clear familial or genetic cause. في عنا genetic factors that can increase the risk, okay? But ما في عنا strong evidence of a very strong correlation or association between one gene and the risk of uh, prostate cancer so far. The family history مهم, aging مهم, the uh, um, um, ethnicity طبعا يعني بال US population كمان مهمة. هلا إحنا حكينا إنه ال androgens هو ال androgens هي group طبعا of hormones. ال uh, ال testosterone okay is a very important androgen. Uh, usually it is released by by the gonads released by maybe adrenal glands some other tissues. And it is converted, testosterone itself, is converted to dihydrotestosterone, okay? Dihydrotestosterone is more potent, okay, than testosterone. It, it binds the androgen receptor at higher affinity, okay? Yani, if we compare testosterone and dihydrotestosterone, actually dihydrotestosterone is, is a more important hormone for the growth and activity of the genitourinary system in the male. This conversion here is, is conducted by enzymes, group of enzymes, we call them 5-alpha reductases, okay? We have two isoforms. So they will convert testosterone to the more potent androgen, the dihydrotestosterone, okay? Hello. Bima in no, yani the majority of prostate cancer cases are may androgen dependent, okay, in nature or hormone dependent. There was there was steps toward chemo prevention. And how can we reduce the risk or prevent prevent prostate cancer? Okay. فالفكرة كانت إنه 
If we use 5-alpha reductase inhibitors, we, uh, we stop the conversion of testosterone to dihydrotestosterone, the very potent androgen. And so uh, the, the, uh, the hormone will, um, uh, uh, will, uh, will not be available at, at high levels. And so we decrease the transformation of the normal prostate epithelium because of the effect of this hormone. For had them in all along chemo prevention. Chemo prevention, we use drugs here. For there has been two drugs introduced as 5 alpha reductase inhibitors, Lome, finasteride, and dutasteride. They are both 5 alpha reductase inhibitors. However, finasteride, who is a selective type 2 inhibitor, while dutasteride inhibits both types 1 and 2 of, of the enzyme. Actually, types 1 and 2, both of them, has been associated with conversion of testosterone to dihydrotestosterone and prostate cancer. So, if we inhibit these enzymes, it was believed that we can also decrease the risk of development of uh, uh, prostate cancer. However, yani, um, when, when the follow-up uh, yani studies um, uh, was done, yani, تابعوا المرضى اللي هم كانوا على chemo prevention with uh, Dutasteride or finasteride long term for many years. Yani. They found actually in, it is right, yani, who is a high and no, the incidence or the number of the new cases of prostate cancer might decrease. However, patients who develop prostate cancer will have more aggressive forms. Yani, Khalina and all and no, meet Marit. Okay, at risk of prostate cancer, we'll start chemo prevention with finasteride. Okay. Umid marit tanin follow up or control ma ma miyakhto chemo prevention. Okay. It's a true that no, the number of cases that will occur on the group that will take finasteride is less. Meaning, let's say, for example, from the group that chemo prevention, 30 patients will occur with them. prostate cancer مقارنه بالكنترول ممكن 50 او 60 مريض يصير معهم breast cancer فهو فعليا it reduces the incidence that's right لكن هدول ال 30 مريض اللي راح يصير معهم prostate cancer وهم بياخذوا chemo prevention their tumors are aggressive and high grade unlike the the يعني the typical presentation of prostate which is known to be more indolent more slowly growing tumors ف so do we need you know, to consider chemo prevention or not? Okay. To be honest, I you had know, a question with Sale debate. And you know, for now, they are not really recommended. And you know, I'm the five alpha reductase inhibitors to prevent prostate cancer. A few selected cases might be negotiated on a person by person. I you mean, know, يتفهم المريض كل الـ الـ الاشوز اللي ممكن تصير مع التريتمنت يعني صح هو احنا عم نعطيه تو بريفنت بروستيت كانسر بات اف ات هابند ات ويل بي ان اجريسيف تيومر اوكي ذا تشانسز ميبي تو تريت سرفايفل ار ريديوسد فبالتالي يعني ات از ا كومبلكس سيناريو صراحه وستيل وي دونت هاف ا كلير ابروفل فروم اف دي اي ذات وي كان يوز ذيس دراجز فور كيمو بريفنشن Okay, for whom may, yani, had a lot of, yani, complicated. Other trials tried vitamin E, for example. They tried also selenium, a big trial, yani, selenium and vitamin E trial to prevent prostate cancer was a very big trial actually, but unfortunately, these treatments did not also improve, or reduce, or prevent prostate cancer. Yani, did not. يعني شو اني ريلي بروميسينج او بوزيتيف اوتكمز فحتى الفيتامين اي والسيلينيوم يعني في ناس بيعتبروهم يعني فيتامين اي هو فيتامين سبلمنت ات ديد نوت شو ا بوزيتيف افكت ما ما ان بريفنشن اوف بروستيت كانسر ديد نوت جيف ا بوزيتيف افكت فحتى هدول وي وي دو نوت ريكومند ذيم فور بريفنشن اوكي ما في ايفيدنس ف تو بي اونست سو فار ما عندنا any chemo preventive method, MAFI, okay? Approved, I would say, with evidence. So far, we don't have for prostate cancer. Right. Hello. Screening is important, okay? Um, we have two important screening methods for prostate cancer, digital rectal examination and prostate-specific antigen. Usually, we do these two together, 
اوكي يعني ال دي ار اي لوحده لا يكفي ال بي اس اي اخذته اي ثينك يمكن بال كلينيكال كيمستري اللي هو عباره عن بايو ماركر مولكيو سكريتد باي ذا برستيد كانسر سيلز فهذا وي ميجرت ان سيركيليشن فهذا عباره عن بلاد بايو ماركر هذا عباره عن اكزام رح نحكي عنه يعني هم الاثنين لهم درو باكس لهم مشاكل سو يو جو هاف تو دو ذيم توجذر اوكي ان كيس وي ار سكرينينج هلا بالديجيتال ريكتال اكزامينيشن واتس جوين اون ذا فيزيشن اوكي ويرينج ات لوك They they insert uh, the finger to to touch to 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 feel the 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 gland. Yani they they can physically examine the gland. Ah ah. Bebein ma al physician is a kind of enlarged, is a kind of hard, tough, is a kind of, for example, abnormal lobules. Yani had al exam. Okay, we direct exam to the to the prostate. It can tell there are. Enlargement, abnormalities, it can tell, but it will not tell me if these abnormalities are cancerous or not. But this is important because it will tell you if there are abnormalities going on. For that, we call it digital rectal examination. We call it DRE. For DRE, will tell you if there is a direct problem with prostate. It's a direct examination of prostate, but it's not. Um, it's not very. Uh, يعني, I would say uh, sensitive. Okay, it's not very sensitive. However, إحنا بنعتبره safe for the low cost. المشكلة هون إنه يعني في variability بين ال 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 observers. شو يعني؟ يعني if physician A is doing the exam, they might report findings different from physician B or C doing the exam. ففي عنا variability. اوكي اللي هي بنقولها الاوبزرفر او الـ الـ يعني الفيزيشن فاريابيلتي يفضل اف بيشنتس ار دوينج ذا ديجيتال اكزامينيشن ريكتال اكزامينيشن ذي اولويز دو ات وذ ذا سيم اوبزرفرز تو تو مينيمايز ذا يعني الفاريابيلتي اوكي فبيكون في بيز لاين اوبزرفيشن وذن يو يو جو اجين فور انذر سكريننج ان ذا سيم وذ ذا سيم فيزيشن فبالتالي Probability in the variability from one physician to the other, observer to the other, is minimized. Okay, but how we met the hakina? It will tell if there is a problem directly with the prostate because we are in checking prostate. But in whom is it clear? Is it specific? I'm not saying only this is definitely prostate cancer. We need to do. If if we have abnormalities, then we need to follow it. We need to do BSA. We need to do maybe biopsy, depending on on other findings. فالـ prostate specific antigen هذا عبارة عن blood marker أو نقوله biomarker، okay؟ هلا it is expected that most patients with prostate carcinoma they will have elevated PSA. متوقع إنه كتير مرضى اللي معهم prostate cancer راح يكون elevated. لكن the PSA can be also elevated in other يعني in 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 other issues. And some prostate cancer patients, they don't have uh, high, or يعني clearly elevated levels. Okay, so مش كل المرضى اللي رح يجوا معهم prostate cancer, they have elevations. فهو يعني مش كتير specific. يعني أنا ما بقدر بالاعتماد على the value reading of PSA to directly decide whether I have a uh, uh, prostate cancer or not. Because as I said. Uh, elevations can happen in, in other cases like benign prostatic hyperplasia, for ممكن تعمل elevations in the same range as, as prostate cancer. يعني ما أقدر أفرق بينهم just based on the readings. Okay. ممكن مثلاً كتير مرضى يجوا عندهم uh, prostate cancer. I I check PSA. It is not really elevated. فبالتالي if it is elevated. It might give you an idea, okay, along with prostate self, uh, digital exam, rectal digital exam. لكن مشكلته هذا إنه مش specific ومثل ما حكينا ال ال false positivity عالية لأنه ممكن يكون عالي not because of prostate cancer because of other condition. بس إذا كان عالي, okay, with with digital digital rectal exam abnormality أو المريض جاي عنده يعني urinary complications يعني 
اكثر ساينز بتيجي مع البروستيت كانسر انه المريض ستارت تو ديفلوب يعني جينيتو يورينري سيمتومز اوكي فبهاي الحاله وي هاف تو دو فيرذر تشيك يعني لازم نعمل مثلا راديشن وي هاف تو تو سي ذا ذا سايز اوف ذا بروستيت اوكي واذا اضطرينا بنعمل بايبسي اف وي هاف سسبكت انه ذس از كانسرس اوكي فالدايجنوسز لازم يكون ديفينيتيف يعني لازم اكون 100% شور This is cancer or not, because if we treat carcinoma as benign condition or we treat benign condition as carcinoma, that's a big, big, big problem. Okay? But we do the digital rectal examination, PSA, ultrasound, radio, uh, radiologic examination, and finally, if we could not distinguish or tell if this is a benign condition or carcinoma, we have to do biopsy. فبشكل عام السكريننج ابروتش المرضى اللي هم افريج ريسك يعني مثلا they don't have a family history of the disease um, not out uh, in, يعني مش ethnicity at high risk مثلا uh, uh, ما عندهم environmental factors or lifestyle factors خلينا نقول هدول عادة ال ال PSA وال DRE they start ال annual screening at age 50 يفضل وي ريكومند انه يكون عندهم بيز لاين ات ايج 40 اوكي يعني وي تيك ا بيز لاين اند افتر 10 ييرز للافريج ريسك بيشنت هدول وي وي ستارت تو دو ذيز سكرينينجز انيوالي افري يير اوكي ات ات ايج 50 اللي بيكونوا هاي ريسك مثلا في فيرست ديجري فاميلي هيستوري او uh, مثلا هاي اثنيسيتي وذ هاي ريسك يعني في عندنا risk factor هذول يفضل انه احنا نعملهم annual examination with digital rectal exam and PSA starting age 40 or 45 ف يعني they screen earlier and on annual basis okay compared to the uh, average risk uh, uh, individual okay طيب هلا if, if we have a case مريض اجى على الكلينيك Uh, digital rectal exam uh, was مثلا في abnormal findings PSA was slightly elevated or elevated uh, في عنده symptoms we want to go to the biopsy okay فال biopsy here uh, simply this is a, a transducer this is a needle okay اللي هي رح تاخد السامبل um, يعني under uh, 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 يعني careful uh, monitoring with ultrasound uh, the physician will start to take samples ال 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 هاي بنقولها ال 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 core أو ال أو ال أو ال sample لازم تكون ال sample from the three lobes وتكون من كل لوب أكثر من sample يعني ما بنأخذ one sample from a single lobe أوكي فإحنا لما بنعمل ااا biopsy ال 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 physician طبعا will will turn the lobes وراح ياخذ من كل لوب أكثر من sample يعني تقريبا بياخذ ممكن three four samples from different يعني different sites in the same lobe and from different lobes okay هلا هاي sample tissue sample بتروح على the pathology department والمستشفى okay the 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 pathologist will will look at the 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 tissue they will decide if it is prostate carcinoma or not فبالتالي يعني أول شيء أنا من بستفيد منه بال sampling I I can confirm or rule out cancer Okay, فبالتالي أول شيء إحنا بنعمله إنه is this tissue belong to cancer or benign uh, 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 prostate tissue? If it is cancerous, يعني if we confirm this is a cancer, we have we have to give a score that correlate with the aggressiveness of the cancer. فهذا كمان بنعمل على هاي tissue samples. هذا السكور اسمه Gleason score وهذا السكور كتير مهم. وكتير مهم مش بس للبروجنوسس كتير مهم كمان للتريتمنت اوكي ف الجليسن سكور ويل 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 جيف اور اسس ذا ديجري اوف ديفرنشيشن اند بروليفريشن اوف ذيز كانسر سيلز فعندنا ثري رينجز للجليسن سكور اللو رينج يعني مثلا اذا انعطى اذا حكيت لكم انا بروستيت كانسر جليسن سكور 3 2 4 Okay, for had a low range two to four. طبعا هو it will never take zero. The low range اللي هو two to four. وما رح يأخذ واحد لأنه إحنا بنجمع هاي السكورات from two readings. 
anyway يعني السكور يبلش from two two to four بنعتبره low score which means لما أنا أقول low score Gleason it means that the tumor cells the prostate carcinoma cells they are not highly different uh, proliferating they 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 grow slowly okay but they are still well differentiated فبالتالي لما بتكون الكانسر cells highly differentiated they are slowly proliferating and the prognosis here is considered good, which means this is not a very aggressive carcinoma. This is not high-grade carcinoma. هذا المعنى. Okay? فإذا كان the Gleason score low, إحنا بنعتبر إنه this is an indolent tumor. Um, the, cells, the cancer cells grow very slow. Okay, very slow. It's indolent and we consider this patient could be a candidate to the uh, uh, Wait, uh, watch and wait. Okay. وبالتالي يعني بنعتبر إنه the prognosis all in all is good. طيب ال 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 high uh, high score على Gleason هو seven to ten. Okay. It means that the the cells proliferate very fast. They are highly proliferating, and they are very poorly differentiating. But had a high grade tumor. Okay. In the high cells very aggressive. وبالتالي احنا بنعتبر هذا المريض اللي عنده الكليسن سكور اباف 7 نعتبره in term of prognosis is poor okay is not something good ف ال ال 7 to 10 usually these are aggressive tumors and we have to treat directly we don't wait because the tumor grow very fast divide proliferate very fast okay فهون ما عندنا watchful waiting بال high score gleason okay هلا ال intermediate او ال scores between 5 or 6 5 to 6 هدول احنا بنعتبرهم in the, in the middle okay it is not really يعني good prognosis but it's not very poor the cells are not very or highly uh, uh, proliferating but they are not also يعني very well differentiating فهذا احنا بنعتبره something in the middle okay اللي هو 5 to 6 فالجليسن سكور كتير مهم ولازم تحفظوا لأغراض التريتمنت because we will select treatment approach based on the Gleason score. Okay? حدا عنده سؤال بالجليسن سكور before we move to staging. في أي سؤال فاهمين؟ هو نفس الفكرة تبعت الجريد علاقته بالproliferation والdifferentiation. We've talked about this many times before. Okay? بس بهاي الحالة it is well structured. We have scores that correlate with uh, outcomes and prognosis. Okay? طيب. إذا ما في سؤال, let me go to the um, uh, staging. هلا ال 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 staging بال prostate cancer is again depending on the TNM stage. فاحنا في عنا tumor size, في lymph node involvement, وفي metastasis. Okay. The definition of metastasis here is little different from what we talked about in other solid cancers. رح نحكي عنه. فال TNM staging, okay, you can feel the Australian system. إيش بنقول له the a to D staging. يعني كل T and M stage, okay, to كافئها letter or to كافئها stage based on the Australian staging system, اللي هو A to D, okay. فا مثلاً مثلاً لما إحنا بنحكي stage one prostate cancer, this is the prostate cancer, this is the pelvic bone, وهاي seminal vesicle كتير مهمين هذول ال staging, okay. ففي عنا ال ال this is the seminal vesicle this is prostate this is the pelvic bone وفي عنا هون ال lymph nodes okay ال ال regional أو local lymph nodes okay فلما إحنا بنحكي stage one based on TNM وهو يكافئ stage A على ال Australian system we are talking about small tumors found in one lobe اوكي okay. يعني هون انا عندي very confocal tumor فانا بحكي عن small tumors اوكي okay. usually limited to a single lobe هذا احنا بنعتبره stage 1 disease اوكي okay. او stage A disease طيب stage 2 disease اللي هو هون يكافئ stage B 
اوكي طبعا كل ستيج في لها سب كلاسز مثل ما كنا نحكي بستيج 1 اي 1 بي هون نفس الشيء بي 1 بي 2 اند سو اون فبستيج 2 ديزيز اكسكيوز مي التيومر كان بي فاوند ان 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 مور ذان وان لوب يعني ممكن يكون 2 اور 3 لوبس لكن لكن بستيج بي ديزيز it did not reach the seminal vesicle it did not reach the lymph node or the pelvic bone يعني it's still still confined بعده موجود within within the prostate but now it it it's spread يعني موجود باكثر من لوب اوكي فهذا يكافئ stage B اوكي هلا stage C disease <coughs> That then, with stage C disease, the 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 um, um, the the cancer cells start to go out, okay, of the prostate. They will reach most probably the seminal vesicle, but still, they did not reach the lymph node or the pelvic bone, okay. So, إحنا هذا بنعتبره stage D أو اللي هو advanced disease, stage three, locally advanced disease. فهون في عندي باللمف بال 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 Seminal physical, I, uh, I see, we, 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 uh, we detect the cancer cells, prostate cancer cells. Lahon, yani stage A, B, and C, okay? Our stage one, two, or three, ho bi saraha, yani, we, we better refer to A, B, C, li anna bil kitab raja alham, okay? Fa khalina in all stages, A, B, and C, okay? It is not metastatic. Yani, the disease is not metastatic. Okay, so far. Hala, la ma binru hala stage D, afwan. Okay, when we go to stage D, li yukafeha ahna bi TNM, stage 4. Okay, here. Now, this is metastatic prostate cancer. Okay, for by definition, ain't ta'ana ba'tabar li prostate carcinoma metastatic. Iza wusla ta'ala in lymph nodes, okay, regional lymph nodes, aw al pelvic bone, aw distant organ. Okay, or distant organ. So, in the prostate cancer, if it reached the, the lymph nodes, this is metastatic disease. But I'm not in no distant metastasis. Okay, is a was not on a pelvic bone, the very close bone here. Come on, but it's metastatic disease. Hatta lo mala a to be other organ. Yani, hatta lo mala a carcinoma bil visceral organ, bil liver, bil. بالبلادر بالسوفت تيشو حتى لو ما لقيته مجرد انه it spread to the to the pelvic bone هون وال lymph nodes هذا دي stage دي او هذا عبارة عن metastatic disease اوكي طبعا التريتمنت فاريبل اوكي prostatectomy can be considered as long as prostatectomy means we resect we remove the entire prostate اوكي prostatectomy The prostatectomy can be considered unless we have metastatic disease. If we have metastatic disease, stage D, prostatectomy is not an option. There is no need to remove the prostate because the tumor is spread outside the gland. Okay? Like in the stage 2, stage 3, we can still, oh, stage B and C, we can still, prostatectomy is an, still an option. Okay? But not in stage D. Okay. هلا ال 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 metastatic prostate cancer. يعني where we can find what are the distant organs. إحنا حكينا إنه ال 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 regional أو pelvic lymph nodes, ال ال pelvic bone, very common sites of metastasis. However, it can also, and we can also see distant, very distant metastases. We can use our visceral organs. We can also show the lung, the liver, other bone, okay, and soft tissue. We can also show even the brain. In really some cases, we can see prostatic cancer, any metastases to the to the brain. So, in the metastatic disease, we can see region involvement or we can see distant. But we can see both cases. Metastatic disease, and we have to treat as a stage D disease. Fine. Now, the prognosis for prostate cancer. When, when we think that the patient has good prognosis or not, 
إذا كان عندي low Gleason scores which mean low grades هذا نعتبره good prognosis smaller tumors limited to, to um, uh, one lobe نعتبره كمان good prognosis uh, the tumor says كل ما كانوا uh, well differentiated كل ما كان the prognosis أفضل okay فبالتالي يعني بشكل عام we rely on the, the tumor factors يعني كتير بهمني the tumor factor لما أنا بحكي عن the prognosis okay يعني ال age مثلا حكينا معظمهم هم بيجوا elderly فبالتالي أكتر أشياء بتحدد the prognosis هي the, the tumor factor itself شو طبيعة the tumor اللي إجا لما إحنا عملنا analysis وعملنا diagnosis للpatient that's really important okay فمثل ما حكينا إذا أنا عم بحكي عن stage 1 أو stage A أكيد الكيور ريت كتير أعلى من أنه أنا عم بحكي عن stage D أو D2 D2 حتى يعني مش بس local يعني distant okay? فby definition stage D اللي هي الميتاستاتيك phase سواء كان D1 أو D2 هذا مش curable we are not actually curing Okay, يعني بمعظم حالات الميتاستاتيك تيومرز حكينا انه the cure rate is really really low. Okay, فاحنا ممكن نعتبر stages A, B and C <coughs> pardon ممكن نعتبر stages A, B and C potentially curable طبعا the cure rate BL as we move from A to C. Okay, stage D whether D1 or D2 this is not curable we mostly treat to stabilize the disease improve the quality of life. Okay. طيب آه خلينا نوقف هون اوكي عند التريتمنت وي ويل بروسيد نيكست تايم اوكي طيب آه آه امتحان الفاينل آه تحدد اليوم بالسكيدجول رح يكون آه جون uh, 6th إن شاء الله يعني يوم الأحد 6 جون أوكي ف يعني I think إنه you know, we, we, we still have uh, time تقريبا عندنا حوالي كمان أسبوعين بعد العيد إن شاء الله أوكي فإحنا رح نخلص يعني I'll do my best نخلص إن شاء الله prostate cancer and we will see uh, يعني حنشوف بالنسبة لل time constraints if we can proceed with a solid organ transplant or not, okay? Like, inshallah, yani, yani, uh, definitely prostate cancer, we will finish the topic, and we will see a lot of tumor, okay? So, beginning, the most important thing in the term is lymphoma, and four chapters with solid cancers. So, beginning, okay? We will find out out of 50 points, والتركيز على مادة الفاينل، أوكي؟ okay. يعني هو comprehensive، فأكيد رح يكون في few questions من مادة المد، few questions يعني مش كتار، وعادة بيكونوا يعني إحنا إشي بنقول له carry on knowledge، يعني something that you have to answer really without needing to revise the material، فهي التركيز رح يكون على مادة الفاينل إن شاء الله. If you plan to study in the coming vacation، مادة that the lymphoma will breast will colon uh, is already uh, uploaded uh, within two days inshallah and I'll have you come on my little lung I think the chapter of lung cancer come on I have not love treatment part only which call the chapter for uh, I, I will do my best maybe uh, shortly to upload the material to you is I'm quite yes let me know okay oh و بليز يعني تشيك كل كل طالب يشيك يعني علامة المد تبعته يعني يتأكد إنه ما عنده concerns لأنه على الأغلب إحنا رح نعتمد العلامات قريبا. أوكي؟ فبليز إف يو هاف أني concern بالعلامة أو concern بال بالأسئلة يعني أنا يعني ما في ولا طالب رجالي بخصوص مادة المد إذا أي طالب عنده سؤال بليز فيل فري تو إيميل مي. أوكي؟ فـ I am done for today. Okay, inshallah, كل عام وأنتم بخير. بعد العيد إحنا رح نكمل إن شاء الله the prostate cancer. We will see how things will go in respect to the solid organ transplantation. If you want to leave, you can leave. Okay, if there is anyone who has a question, I can take it. Sanar, تفضلي.
المفروض نكون يعني مراجعين الجايد لاينز والأدوية صح يعني مش إنه بناء على دراستنا للمد يعني شوفي هي رح تكون يعني أنا ما بقدر أقول لك كيف رح تكون الأسئلة بس هي رح تكون very straight forward carry on knowledge you get my point نهاية مادة أنتم تحنتوا فيها يعني هي رح تكون أسئلة يعني المفروض لو أسألك هلا السؤال أنت تجاوبي فهمتي علي كيف؟ يعني هي إحنا بنقولها carry on وعادة رح يكون يعني very few questions إحنا عادة يعني يعني بنجيب لأنه أكيد يعني الرولز بالregulations بالجامعة لازم يكون الامتحان comprehensive أوكي؟ لكن التركيز رح يكون اللود على مادة الفاينل المادة اللي أنتم ما امتحنتوا فيها هاي رح يكون عليها اللود أوكي؟ تمام شكرا أها أهلا هلا طيب آه.